So I have a, a TXT file, which is a glossary from WordFirst. And if I open it up in a text editor and look at it, what I can see is I have a what looks like a source, Spanish I think, then target, then I have two tabs, and what looks like a domain name. Now it's a little hard to tell in here, but quite possibly, I mean it looks like an empty column, but it's quite hard to tell because everything's all mixed backwards and forwards, it's not lined up nicely. So the easiest way to check this and to sort this out into a format which is easy to bring into, into multi-term, because you could convert it exactly like this, it's just hard to tell what's in here like this. So what I'm going to do is open this file in Excel first because then I can see better what's inside it. So to do that, the easiest way is to start up Excel. Once it's started up, I open the file. Microsoft have made this incredibly difficult compared to how it used to be because now I have to, to, to hear. If anybody knows an easier way to do this, I'll be very grateful because I really don't like this. And I browse. Instead of one click, it's now like four clicks or something just to open a file. Click on General TXT. It's not an Excel file, it's a tab delimited file, but Microsoft can handle that. So it says delimited. It doesn't have headers. So I can start the import at row one, so I say next. It asks me what the delimiter is. Clearly it's a tab because that's worked. And if I scroll down very quickly, it does look like it's empty, doesn't it? Oh, what was that? Something funny going on there. I reckon there might be something in there, but we'll know better in a second anyway. So I'll click on next. I'm just going to leave them all general format. I'll just say finish and open it in Excel. This opens my file for me. Um, so you can see I've got three columns. One, in fact, let's just make them all the same width. So 50, let's say 50. Then it should all fit on one screen nice and easily. Ah, okay, so I've got a source term or a target term, another term. So Spanish, English, and then I have, there is something else here. So I've got these here. This is the advantage of bringing it into Excel because you don't get to see this when it's in the other side. Sorry, when it's in just a TXT file because it's misaligned. And I also have this domain field, which looks like a system field out of WordFast. Nobody would deliberately create a field called hash percentage sign general percentage sign hash, I don't think. And it looks like, oh, there's some funnies in there. Oh, this looks like a bit of a, um, I'd say it's a, a WordFast export bug, I'd say. <laughs> well, so something funny going on there anyway, but it doesn't look right. Oh, there's another one that looks a bit odd. Two of these. This is a nice advantage of putting it in Excel. You can see all these little funny things really easily just by a quick scroll up and down. So that looks right now. So if I decide I want to keep this, I don't really want to put it into multi-term like that. So if this was a domain, I might just decide to, to um, let me just, first of all, take all of that. And let me just control F. So if I replace, find that and replace it with just general. Okay, 202 terms. Okay, that's better. So now it just is the word general, which is probably a neater. See how easy it is when you bring it into Excel. So now I'm just going to add another line down here because in order for multi-term to know what to do with this, it really needs to know what these different columns are. So this, I think is Spanish. Apologies if it's not. It's my linguistic in inadequacy. Um, this is English. This looks like just a description, I guess. So I'm going to call it description. You can call it whatever you like. And this I'll just call domain. You might not even want to use it. You don't have to use it. But if you want to keep all the information that's in here, this is what I'm going to show you how to handle that. And I'm going to save this now. But I'm not going to save it back as a TXT. I'm just going to save it as an Excel file. It doesn't need to be a TXT. It would work with the TXT exactly the same way I'm about to do it. But I'm going to keep it as an Excel file. And then I'm just going to delete my TXT because I don't want it anymore. So I'm going to start the Glossary Converter, which is a free application you can get from the Open Exchange. If you haven't been to the Open Exchange, it's www.sdl.com forward slash Open Exchange. And in fact, maybe just I'll show you www.sdl.com forward slash Open Exchange. If I just open that in the browser, 
and very quickly to show you how to find the glossary converter just in case you've never seen it before it's an excellent tool and I think anybody using any of the SDL products today it's it's an it's an essential part of your toolkit it makes life so much easier so if you go to the app search and then just search for the word glossary and what you'll find is you get a couple of results these two applications the glossary converter and the glossary plugin were both written by the same developer and they work hand in hand if you have studio 2014 I'd thoroughly recommend you take the glossary plugin because that is so cool but I'm not going to cover that here and you have the glossary converter which is actually the most heavily downloaded application that's what I'm going to use today so you would just click on that um, and then you would go and um, download it by clicking on download now you have to have an account and you have to have a, a copy of studio in, in your account in order to get this but it works with every version we have 2009 2011 and 2014 so so long as you've got a licensed copy of the software you'll have no problem downloading this tool which is free okay and the way you use it once you've started it up is you just take your file so I'm going to take my general file drop it into the XLSX file like that it will go through and will pick up anything that it recognizes so it's looking for the headings in the file that's important so it has to have some idea what's in each column so it's recognized the Spanish and English straight away as being language fields this is correct but it doesn't know what to do with these but multi-term as you possibly know can be anything you like there's no strict rules here I decided to call it description and domain <laughs> glossary converters never heard of these particular terms before it's no problem I can just click on it here right click and I can set the description I'm going to make the description a an index field so that it appears after the language and in fact I'm going to put it on the term so it will appear after the term in this case because my spreadsheet was Spanish English and then the description and then the domain it will probably put this after the English and not, not, not after the Spanish which is perfect because that's where I think it should be so I click OK um, what it also doesn't know is whether I want it to be a pick list or a number of media um, or text I just want it to be text I'll say OK and then I have to do the same with the domain the domain I'm going to add it to the entry level because these terms probably the both pair of terms should be related to um, the overall concept that you're trying to enter so I'm going to put it at the top level I could make that a pick list but as I have no idea what else you ever else you want in there I'm probably just going to make it a text field if you did use with uh, if you did work with multiple domains and you wanted that you could just type them into here like this so general um, medical farmer whatever they were you just make them up and they will become a list in multi-term that, that you can actually pick from when you're adding terms which means you have consistency and it's all under your own control that's how that would work at the moment they're all the same if I didn't want this domain at all because it was a system field from uh, WordFast I can just ignore it like that and then it won't bring them in anyway but I'll leave it there for now just so you can see what it looks like when you make it an entry field so I'm just going to click on OK so that's gone through and processed my file if I exit now you can see I now have a term base down here and if I double click the term base to start multi-term it's just the SDLTB this is the only one I need to click so this opens up in multi-term and here's my term base so you can see I've got my Spanish my English and the domain the domain is at the entry level at the top if I just scroll down a little bit oh here we go here's one with one of the descriptions so you can see the description is on the term on the English term only so normal breath sounds for MBS and I'll scroll down through those maybe there's a couple more we can just look at there wasn't too many that had that there we go there's another one and another one so these are all things that have been added into the um, as, as descriptions for the terms but that's it really simple straightforward I could have done it from the TXT I just chose to do it from Excel because it's easier to make sure the Excel is representative of what I want in my term base and that's it I hope that was pretty explanatory and easy to understand.